I haven't been in Cape Town a week and I already have to get on a flight back to Europe tomorrow to go race at Spa. Here we are in Belgium. This is the last minute of last minutes. I just got back to Cape Town. I hadn't even been there a week. I got a message from Marco, my team manager. He says, get on a plane to Spa. I've raced in Belgium before. I raced carts here. I actually, I had a sponsor who promised me a thousand euros and then that never came through. So I actually was stuck here. I had to travel. When I got back to South Africa, I sold my car, kept some of the money from selling the car and paid off the people who I owed money to in Belgium. Which racing driver does not want to race at Spa? I'm competing in the Lamborghini Super Trofeo class, but I'm competing in the Gallardo subclass. They needed a, a, a driver, they called on me. I tried my very best to raise money to race in the Huracan, which is the top class. Unfortunately, unfortunately, that didn't come through, but I'm incredibly grateful to even be here in the first place. It's the same weekend as the Spa 24, and I'm looking forward to taking you all behind the scenes. I'm blown away, blown away. to be the smile that lights are every day, but I get weary. You seem to think that all our feelings can be out of place, can't I be teary? There's something you can't keep in, we are way too deep in you. The only time we keep them standing watch you slide away, I know you feel me. So it's track walk time, we're using pretty red, <laughs> pretty red scooters. We've just gone up Eau Rouge. It is so steep. Holy sh! There's my teammates. It's kind of hard to believe that I'm here at Spa doing a lap. Check out all these people who are camping out just to watch the race. And here I am on a scooter. <laughs> I'm driving around at Spa on a scooter. <laughs> Verdict after my first session it was absolutely terrifying, but fun. I had a massive moment, which I'll play for you now. Besides that, everything went well. We're one second off the pace, but first session and on all tires, so I'm happy. Data time. Uh huh. Uh, you know what? Free practice two is over. I finished P1. Um, we're not quite on the pace of last year, which I hope to fix tomorrow in qualifying with new tires and uh, some sleep. I'd say we were, about, we we're missing about a second. My main competitor landed up in the wall and I had so many moments on the track. This track is so scary, but nonetheless, it's so much fun. Like you get off and you're just shaking for like half an hour afterwards. Maybe the pros aren't, but I am. <laughs> Friday morning, which means it's qualifying for both races and also quarter to three, it's race one. I just want everything to go smoothly. I want, I don't want to have any moments through Eau Rouge and I, I want to be fast, obviously. Just know that comparing my data to the top boys this weekend for the first time, I want, I want a good reference. With new tires, we'll have a better idea of where I stand. One tenth off the pace. Should have been P1. That's why I'm upset right now. In the second sector, I lost half a second compared to my previous lap. And I just didn't I didn't put the lap together. I'm absolutely livid. 
I hope in race one we can make it up. First place at Spa. Let me just do this up. I started the race, got the lead at the first corner, pulled a huge gap, 10 seconds, and then the safety car came out. The safety car was out so long that it only had two flying laps before the pit window opened. So during those two laps, I pulled a six second lead. We pitted, but then we lost the lead again. On the last lap, my teammate, co-driver Ricardo Vieira, he went for a move down the inside of Juan. <laughs> And no one in my team realized except for me, so I was excited and then, yeah, it crossed the line in first place. Here it is. Um, yeah, to win at Spa is quite something. There was a heavy vibration in the, in the race, so we're trying to discover what's going on. It got worse and worse as the race got on. Found the issue, it's related to the front splitter, which is good news because we thought it could have been a prop shaft or something, which is much longer to change. Day three, it's raining. Uh, first time in the rain in a GT car will be today, and only the second time ever that I've raced in the rain on a big track. I analyzed the data last night to see where I could uh, the big differences in braking, which is my main concern. The Gallardo has four wheel drive, which really helps us. Hurricanes don't, so maybe we have a chance to finish higher up than normal. I'm excited, but I'm also incredibly nervous, which is, turns out, is pretty standard for me. Oh boy, this rain is proper. Oh, it's proper. Ah! One lap to go and had to take him around the outside of the of the pool arm. There's a double, there's a right left, and uh, there was a back mark in the way. But I managed to set up the corner in a way that I could carry momentum around the outside. Um, driving in the wet is unbelievable. It's you can't see a thing when you follow another car. It's just it's just white. Uh, so you're like sort of moving around the track to see if you can spot your brake markers. And even when you do get in the brakes, the car just slides everywhere. Nonetheless, thank you so much, so much to my team. I'm so grateful to have been given up this opportunity. And it's all thanks to Marco Bielli and Bernaldi Motorsports. I'm so grateful. And I hope to do this again one day. If I don't, well, <laughs> it's not a bad experience. So thank you for watching and uh, see you at Vallelunga, which is in now four weeks time.